Hello all, I have been fielding a lot of questions about Google Classroom and more importantly, the organization of Google Classroom from students, from parents and colleagues alike. So hopefully this quick little tutorial will help um, organize some things, get everyone on the same page because when everyone's on the same page, life is so much easier, you know what I'm saying? All right, so let's take a look. I'm gonna present my screen here. So give me just a second. I want you to be able to see what I am looking at. Okay, so parents, when your student logs into their classroom, they are going to see something like this. Here will be the name of the class that they are in. You'll see that this is just a test class for me. Over here is a calendar of the assignments that are due this week. It gives you the day that they are due and sometimes the time, depending on the teacher. Some teachers will put in exact time and some teachers do not. All right, so there are two tabs that I want to focus on, the stream and the classwork, because these two parents, you are not gonna see, those are for the teachers only. So the important thing that you need to know about the stream page is that the stream page is for announcements. And it's also a place where teachers are going to post any contact information, um, any information about their office hours, any information that will help your students in terms of references, okay? Videos that might help them and notes or vocab sheets, any type of resource that will help them complete their assignments for the week will be posted here. Okay, so think of this stream page as your resource page. So here is a typical announcement, weekly announcement for me. I tell you when I have my office hours. This is how you would join my Google Meet for my office hours. This is where you will see how to text me through Remind or how to email me. And then this is a list of the tasks that I want the kids to complete for the week. And then uh, again, this would be any resources, helpful resources that will help them accomplish these tasks. The second tab that I wanna show you is the classwork tab. And that is where you're gonna find the actual assignments, okay? So that will tell you again, the, the day that it's due, the time, and if I go to my actual, this is one of my actual classes uh, to give you a better look uh, what to expect. I did my classes by the week. Okay, this is a level one class. And so these were the assignments that they had to do for this week. And these were the assignments that were due for the week before that, so on and so forth. So the most current stuff will be on top. And as you scroll down, that's where you're going to find older assignments. Okay. So I wanna go back to the stream. And now I want to address um, students, or I'm sorry, I want to go back to the stream and address teachers, okay? Teachers, something that we could do to make things a little easier on the parents and, and the students alike is organize our classwork. Every time we assign something on classwork, it is going to show up on the stream page. So you can see that I assigned three assignments for the week here. And if I go back to my stream page, now I've got four announcements here. Three of them are assignments. And then one is where all the references and the tasks are for the week. So how can I clean this up? If you go over here to the right-hand corner, you're gonna see a little gear and you're gonna click on that. And that brings you to the, your classroom settings. And if you scroll down to the second section that says general, the third title here that says classwork on the stream, if you go over to the right hand side and click on the little arrow, it automatically shows up as show condensed notifications. You wanna move this down to hide notifications and save it. And once you do that, it takes it just a second, it will clear out all of those assignments that were posted on your main page. And that's okay, because if you go to classwork, you're gonna find them there, okay? So it's okay that they disappeared from the stream. That's gonna fix all of the chaos here, okay? And again, you could go back, and I'm gonna go to my actual classroom here, and you can you could put these under topics so that they are grouped together, but that's another tutorial, okay? So again, 
basics of this stream that is where your references are all your resources everything all your contact information that you are going to need for the teacher classwork those are the actual assignments again if you go to the stream you're going to see that those assignments are due when they are due in this little calendar okay so hopefully that makes life a little bit easier for everybody because when everyone's on the same page and they understand where to find things life is so much better you know what i'm saying okay because we don't need any added stress right now do we no that's crazy no all right so everyone hopefully that helped you out stay safe and more importantly stay sane